Jishu Mataji, everyone. Let us bow down collectively at the lotus feet of Shumataji and raise our kundalini and take bandhan. Now the right hand on the left heart. So as the Sastrara day was yesterday and at a lot of places we are going to do Sastrara Puja today and tomorrow. So we will be worshipping Shramataji on the Sastrara on both this day, thanking Shramataji for opening our sastrara. Let us ask permission from Shamadaji for this meditation. Mother, you are the queen of universe. You are the supreme power. You are the primordial mother, the Adi Shakti. Whose mere glance can create and destroy universe. We, the Sajyokis, humbly ask to bless us, protect us, and forgive us. Mother, please allow us to worship you, to take your name. Shamataji. Please take us in your meditation. Please give me the state of Nirvacharta, the thoughtless awareness.
and that I don't know how to remove these thoughts. Please give me the state of Nirvicharita. Please make me thoughtless. Let us recite three great mantras. May God bless you all. May God bless you all. May God bless you all. Now slowly, slowly take our attention to Muladhar.
श्री माता जी प्लीज कम इन माय मूलाधार प्लीज प्लस माय मूलाधार स्ट्रेंथन इट एंड लाइटन इट विथ द पावर ऑफ योर लव attention to what's left to mulaka and with all awe and respect and the total surrendering that is now recite shri nirmal ganesh mantra we can put our right hand on mother earth आदिशक्ति माताजी श्री निर्मला देवे नमो नमः Shamata ji by your grace i am innocent i am innocent i am innocent please remove all the filth all the negativity from my left mulata the hand back on the lap and that ancient towards central muladhar shri ganesh gauri saksha om tvami vasaksha shri ganesh gauri saksha shri aadi shakti mata ji shri namala देवे नमो नमः मदर यू आर वर्ली श्री गणेशा द एम्बॉडीमेंट ऑफ इनोसेंस सोर्स ऑफ इनोसेंस मदर प्लीज Give me this power of innocence. Make me innocent. Mother, please make my muladhar very strong. Let me have the gravity that a sadhu yogi should have.
attention towards right muladha and slowly the left hand on mother earth here we will recite shri kartike mantra आदिशक्ति माताजी नर्मला देवे नमो नमः मदर प्लीज प्रोटेक्ट मी from all the negativities from the six enemies of my soul mother cleanse me and make me worthy of you your appreciation your attention your love you are the destroyer of all the evils all the rakshasas in me om tvame vasaksha sarva rakshas antri saksha shri aadi shakti mata ji shri namala deve नमो नमः मदर प्लीज डिस्ट्रॉय ऑल द इविल इन मी यू आर द क्लीक किलर ऑफ ऑल द डेविल्स एंड डीमंस इन मी Mother, you are the destroyer of all the negativities and badas in me. Please protect me and destroy all the evil in me. the hand back on the lap and with all surrendering slowly slowly the attention on sastrara let us put our right hand on our sastrara mother please establish your lotus feet on my sastrara please give me the required oneness the required state to be one with you mother nothing else i desire for
let me feel the love of Param Chaitanya on my Sastrara. Mother, please establish your lotus feet on my Sastra. If we want, we can put our hand back on the lap. And now, in this state, let us hear the speech of Shramataji. Today is the 19th Sahasrara day. If you count the first one, the day Sahasrara was open. I'll have, to the, I'll have to tell you the story about the Sahasrara day, about which it was decided. Long time back, before I incarnated, they had a big meeting in the heavens. All the thirty-five crores of Gods, the deities, were there present to decide what is to be done. This is the ultimate that we have to give to human beings. So to open their sastrara, to open their awareness, to the Spirit, to the real knowledge of the Divine, to remove the darkness of ignorance, and it had to be spontaneously because it has to work, the living force of God. Also, it had to be very quick. So all the gods requested that now I, the Adi Shakti, has to take the birth. They all tried their best. They did whatever was possible. The saints, were made by them, but very few. They incarnated and people made religions out of them, which were perverted, brought them bad name. 
no reality in those religions. These religions were money-oriented or power-oriented. There was no divine force working. Actually, it was all anti-divine. How to now turn human beings away from these superficial religions, these perverted paths of destruction, how to tell them about all these established organizations. For ages they have been ruling, making money, making power. It was a tremendous task, had to be done with great patience and the love. It was a very delicate work also, because they believed in those religions, innocent people, simple people. To blast them that this is all nonsense, there are no religions, they are against the incarnation, against all the prophets, against all the saints. That's why all the real saints had to suffer. It's a powerful work that was to be done. And that's why Adi Shakti had to take birth on this earth. It had to be before the 6th of May, because 6th of May was the doomsday in that year. So it was done on the 5th of May at the nick of the time. It was all decided beforehand. And every deity's job was allotted to all of them. Very efficient deities, very obedient. They knew me very well, completely dedicated and devoted. They knew me very, very well, every end of my hair they knew. I didn't have to teach them protocol. Love itself gives you protocol. But love that is divine is not selfish love. It's not the way we love my child, my husband, my country, my clothes. It is the love which is divine, which spreads from your heart, from your spirit, like the light of knowledge. What a tremendous task it was. So, I said, at Sahasrara, I had to be Mahamaya. I had to be Mahamaya. I had to be something that people can't recognize me easily. But deities? No. This Maya, Mahamaya had to come on this earth not the Adi Shakti, in a purest form, is too much. So she was covered with this Mahamaya. Now you see, in nineteen years, what we have achieved. So many yogis, are sitting before. The difference between a saint and a yogi is that a saint himself is righteous. 
himself is holy. But he doesn't know much about the Kundalini. But the yogi knows about the Kundalini. But the difference between a yogi and a Sahaja yogi, Sahaja yogi is that Sahaja yogi has powers and Sahaja yogini has powers to give realization to others. A yogi can cleanse himself but he cannot cleanse others while a Sahaja yogi can cleanse others and cleanse himself. So this is the superior most state which you achieved through your great punyas, I should say. So many of you have been searching the truth in previous lives and now here you are to achieve what you have been searching. All that has happened now so beautifully. You are not even aware what has happened to you. Automatically, spontaneously you've got the powers within your central nervous system in a split of a second. Your attention has been fixed now. Of course, even now some people don't have even now I see the tension wobbles. But so many of you have achieved that state as you were saying, Shivoham, 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 you have it. What Adi Shankaracharya has described about himself, you can say that about all of you. So many Adi Shankaracharya sitting before But still, I am a Mahamaya. I just behave like you. I too have a family. I too have children which can be called as mine. And you are my children too. So when you are matured enough, the first sign is that you get discretion. That's divine discretion is love again. But I see people falter. They don't mind saying, Mother, I'm catching on my agya. Why? You know how to cleanse it. You know what to do about it. Why don't you clean it? Why don't you get to it? What is the thing? The Maya. First starts the problem of family. My wife, my mother, my brother, my husband, my children. All right? That's Maya. With that, you get drowned. Again, you are brought up. Then subtler and subtler this maya becomes. The situation of the family improves, everybody knows that. But so many falter. So many get lost in Sahaja Yoga because they had a bad wife or a bad husband. You have to ascend alone yourself. You don't have to depend on others. And those who do not allow you to ascend have to be thrown away. Nothing is more important than your ascent, higher and higher, because it has a very great divine purpose, the ultimate, the climax 
where the whole humanity is to be saved through your efforts. You have to work it out. And at this situation, we see the thousand petals. These are the powers of Virata within you. And this is where we falter, that the light of the Sahasrara is the Brahma Randra, which is your heart chakra. Now the heart chakra can be also misunderstood very much. And this misunderstanding always comes from the Mahamaya for testing. Like, we have say we have to have a family, we must have good families, we must have good children. Immediately the Mahamaya acts, we start worrying about the husband, worrying about the family. We should be our family. There's a saying in Sanskrit, Udara charitanam vasudai vasutkutumbaka. The one who are of a character of saints, the whole world is their family. You worry about an individual family so that the collective family is strengthened. Not to worry about individual families so that the collective suffers. And if there is such a family, Thai, better throw it away. We have to sacrifice. No sacrifice, it's only getting rid of the disease. So we waste our time with our children, with our family, which is very small. Then this situation changes in different areas. That's the compassion, the love and affection. We believe Let us continue to sit in meditation. was open, the whole atmosphere was filled with tremendous Chaitanya and there was tremendous light in the sky and the whole thing came on this earth as if a torrential rain or a waterfall with such a tremendous force as if I was unaware and got stupefied. The happening 
was so unexpected and so tremendous that I was stunned and I became completely silent at his. A thousand blessings you give to us when you are in our sasraras. A thousand flowers so beautiful you give when you are in our hearts. Thank you for all of this, for the peace, for the joy and the bliss. Let us join our hand and thank Shri Mahapaji. For all the blessings and for opening our Sastrara. Thank you, Mother. Let us now raise our Kundalini and take Bandha. Thank you everyone. Wishing everyone a happy puja and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day.